I wonder if, oh, we actually did look at this already. That if they had Iman and Taqwa, then they would have had a reward from, from their Lord, from Allah, if they only knew. Right. And so, think also from the perspective of the power of the last two surahs, that it's very easy to underestimate how powerful those two surahs are. That they are stronger than the strongest black magic. So, to really do the math, if you say, A'udhu Billahi Ibn Shaitan, that's stronger than Shaitan. And Shaitan is, the, Shaitan is the strongest of all the jinns, right? And so black magic is something different. It's different than, than playing around with jinns. Uh, the last two bulls are stronger than, than black magic. doesn't mean that if you just recite it once, it's going to go away. You might have to do it repeatedly because the people who are doing the black magic might also be relentless, attacking you and attacking you. I received a question on those surahs yesterday. <coughs> is it okay to use black magic to fight off black magic? that you'll find some people, some of those exorcist type people, they will uh, they'll use other forms of black magic to fight off the black magic, and I'm of the opinion that that's fighting fire with fire, as opposed to using the Quran, which is fighting fire with water. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. We still have 10 more minutes for Oh, we have for 10 more minutes? Well, yeah. I just got the buzz just now. Uh, I have more time. Um, like, hypothetically, somebody um, came up to you and um, like said that I think I put like Nazar on you, like because I was like. Someone came up to you hypothetically. No. <laughs> someone hypothetically comes up to you hypothetically and says, "I, I, 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 I hypothetically I, I, I hypothetically put like Nazar on you." Like, like so let's say, like some unfortunate stuff is going on. Someone uh. comes up and says, "You know, I'm sorry about like something that happened to me. Yeah. with you. I think I may have like caused it." Nazar on you because I was like. So do Nazar back? No, I'm kidding. Someone <laughs> <laughs> says, like, should you? something like I mean it depends on how good your heart is so the good heart would be to recite the, the surahs right the quls no the, not because you have any problem with whatever but like just like do you have like something on you or like yeah I mean how it manifests is a very strange thing okay so I mean like not with like knots or bone, chicken bones but like <laughs> someone's like outright telling you I was like <coughs> I know, it's yeah, they probably shouldn't be telling them that anyway. But Does that case, show that there's something wrong with them, too? For like saying Why shouldn't they be telling you that? It's like walking up to someone saying, yeah, I was backbiting you. How are you going to respond? Like, right. I, I had bad thoughts of you. Please forgive me. Okay, so if someone came up to you and said, hey, I was backbiting you. I said this about you, and I said this about <laughs> you. How are you going to feel? You know what's so funny? I had a friend who, when she met me, she goes, I just have to be honest before you hear about it. She goes, when I met you, I did not look you. <laughs> no, someone came up to me. I think that's really me. nice of her to say that. Because okay. she got somebody's to know me. like, um, you know? Someone someone's like, like I was like, you be- I jealous about, about you. something about you, and so I may have like. That's why I spread these rumors about you. And, and Maybe they, they're trying to clean their slate. And yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. If, you're, if you have a good yeah, heart, you'll say, well, Alhamdulillah, thank you for telling me, and I forgive you. But in most cases, I don't think people to say that people are people are gonna say that was you it caused me this problem and you know I'm gonna really make was against you right I mean the point is that uh, the general recommendation is if someone if you backbite someone it's it's often safer just to pray for pray for them rather than tell them but aren't they supposed to forgive you for it though they don't have to no know. no but the only reason that they or the only way that they would is if you ask them to meaning you can do a generic forgiveness for everyone who does everything bad to you but um. yeah I'm just saying that, that there's no spell on you or anything weird, like... It doesn't matter, just do the two of last just, time. I mean, yeah, so... Um, I actually have a question about the whole backbiting thing. Like, the reason, I think, is because, like, people ask, like... I've had someone come up to me, like, oh, I backbit about you, like, please forgive me, and I was like, okay. And just say no. No, <laughs> no I mean, I'll say no. No, I was like, oh, um, okay, yeah. Because she was, like, going to Hajj or something, I was like, oh, okay, whatever, like, yeah. But, um, but... Like, I think the only reason they ask you is because, like, you, like if you do something wrong to other person, right, like, they have, you're, to, you, they have to forgive you before Allah can, right? Okay, yeah, so, so far. Yeah. yeah, so, what were you saying that it's better not to say something to them and just, like, make block of them? Because I mean, they, okay, so if you back, if you always, I would be like, you backbite somebody. So let's say you backbite a, a person hypothetically named Omar Ali, right? Okay. <laughs> hypothetically. Rather than, rather than tell him, because uh, that might cause further problems, um. right? Uh, it's pray for them. Okay. <coughs> if you know the personality is one who will forgive or may forgive, um, then well, it's different. Okay, I have a question about this ayah, like one of three. 
Yes. Because I think I think in general it's like a, it's like the cure for like trying to take shortcuts for yeah. anything, you know, like lying, cheating, stealing, all of this stuff, right? Yeah. So it's like if they'd accepted faith, been God <coughs> fearing, and then. And then I think the last part is what I'm just kind of confused by. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah no, no. Like, that's like, that's like in the power of Allah SWT. Like, we can't know, though. It's like a, I, I don't understand how, like, a person can know. You so, know? so it changes to, like, what if they, question? I'm not so, like, it's saying, basically, you know, it would have been better for them if they had belief in taqwa and they would have got reward from their if Lord they knew, yeah. if they only knew. Uh, and so think about this, uh, translating this as if they only considered what they're doing, right? If they only understood the seriousness of what's at hand, okay. right? Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, if they did top one and did good deeds, then how much is the reward? If yeah. they knew that reward. Yeah, if you really knew how big the reward was. How big was. the reward is, yeah. and then you yeah. do all the good deeds and everything. And also about that uh, nazar thing. That's why you do the sunnah, according to the sunnah, you read your quls in the morning and the evening to protect from the whole day and the whole night. Uh -huh. If so you can't, protection yeah. from the nazar, protection from all the, you know, magic and everything else. Whatever. So, three, three quls in the morning and <coughs> Any other last questions or thoughts? Let's, yeah, let's take a short break for Maghrib. Well, after the Dawah, not another Hamdulillah.